This week, Vigo County school administrators will continue to complete presentations with staff on diversity and inclusion, as well as bullying. These trainings started last week as part of a corporation's response to racist incidents at West Vigo High School. They will occur at every single school for the staff and eventually for the students. Will Price talked with the two people who are leading those presentations, and he has the details. Will. It was back in January when we first heard discussions of diversity training and programming being brought to Vigo County Schools from Interim Superintendent Tom Balatevich. The one-hour presentations touched on a variety of topics. They're being implemented by the corporation's Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer, along with their Project Aware Coordinator. For the next few months, every single Vigo County staff member will participate in diversity training. Half of that training, amounting to 30 minutes, is led by Matthew McClendon, the Chief Diversity Officer at VCSC. He says it works on defining terms like microaggressions, racism, and prejudice, and hopes to bring more understanding to the corporation. What I want them to know is the, the situation we're in in society right now is going to take a lot of conversations and tough conversations. So in order to have those tough conversations, come in with as much knowledge as you know of what we give you now. But if you don't know, don't be afraid to ask. The second half is led by Dr. Megan Kirk, Corporation's Project Aware Coordinator. She says it's divided into three parts, defining bullying, accountability, and restorative practices. I don't want them to see this as one more thing or one more initiative that we're trying to push out. Um, but then for them to realize that they're already building connections with students. Eventually, training will be installed for students as well. McClendon says they're still in the process of deciding exactly what that will look like. But a diversity task force that has been created this year and will include community members outside of VCSC will help with those decisions. Of course, I have my own, my own input, but that's why we have a task force. I want to hear from them. I mean, I'm not from here. Um, I work for the Vigo County School Corporation, so getting you know viewpoints from other people, you know, diversity, different views outside the school corporation, I think will be really helpful. Now, the target date for the finish of staff training is May 2nd. McClendon says they want to work with students in a classroom setting, and while they are trying to do it as soon as possible, it may take place as late as next fall.